Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here, the brown skin human, and of course, Douglas Blair Roberts coming back, coming back at you with another video. And as you can see by the title above, this is the intro video to various Dragon Ball Z rants. Like I've said in previous videos, there will be one intro video for a bunch of audio narration reviews because in previous videos in pre in previous videos I always I I got sick of recording an intro for every audio audio narration and um I want to save more disk space on my hard drive so this is what we're going to be doing from now on so this tackles this tackles every Dragon Ball Z rant the Piccolo saga Saiyan saga Namek and Frieza sagas Android and Cell sagas Baba and Majin Buu base sagas, the entire Dragon Ball Super franchise, Bakatsu no F, Bakatsu no F, the entire Dragon Ball Z franchise, the entire Dragon Ball franchise, and even though I like these versions, even though I like these versions of Dragon Ball, love these versions of Dragon Ball, um, Super Brawly, Super Brawly, and of course, maybe a Dragon Ball evolution because while I like those films I do have a problem I do have a couple of problems with those films so this is the intro video to all Dragon Ball based rants so with that being said let's get started right now gonna show you what I'm made of It's time for part two of my rant on Dragon Ball Super. Super. When I first saw Dragon Ball Super several years ago, the first three episodes, even though I can't remember what they were about because I hated this show so much, the first three episodes were actually okay. But then after the first three episodes ended, and it, the next several episodes were were an anime television series version of the Battle of Gods movie and the sequel for Casa Nuel split up into several episodes to fit the runtime of this um television series as part of what was basically season one and season two I think of Dragon Ball Super. And it was terrible. It was terrible with, I think, episode 5. One of the episodes having some of the worst animation possible. But the animation wasn't the biggest problem for me. The biggest problem for me was, it was bad enough we had to see both of these movies once. But we had to see them twice. Then their excuse for replaying both of these um, movies as part of the television series. This was They said this was for people who apparently... Didn't see Fakatsu no F in Battle of Gods. Um, the only way you could have watched Dragon Ball Super, the only way you could have watched Dragon Ball Super is if you saw Battle of Gods and Fakatsu no F first. 
Japan got this first. The only way you could have watched it here was on the internet. Was on the internet. That's the only way you could have seen Battle of Gods and Fakatsu the Web. So that whole excuse that they want to do it for people who didn't see it. No one who was watching Super had not already saw Battle of Gods and Fakatsu no F. That doesn't exist. But like I said, it was terrible. It's bad enough we had to see these movies once, but to see them again. Then at first, this is one of the reasons I decided to redo this review. Like I said in the part one portion of this review. Um, um, my old review from five years ago is kind of dated now because I took it as... Toriyama forgetting his own story by having the same scene where Beerus wakes up again. No, it wasn't that. It was just a remake. It was just the movie split into split into several episodes. The Battle of Gods movie split into several episodes. But it was once again there. Okay, that Fikasu no F movie was bad enough. That was a franchise killer. And this was even worse. So I quit Dragon Ball for a while. Then I came back when they finally got out of these Battle of Gods and Fikatsu no F sagas and finally got on with the series, which they should have done from the start. Dragon Ball Super automatically fails and is, and is automatically the worst anime ever because the first two seasons were these atrocious movies, man. Instead of just going into the Universal 6 sur Survival Tournament arc. I think that's what it's called. Where... I think Champa challenge Champa a fat version of Beerus challenges Beerus challenges Beerus to a um to a mop tournament with uh, with uh, with Beerus Beerus with the Syria with Champa's lineup of fighters fighting Beerus's lineup lineup of um fighters. This arc wasn't really that good. But it was way better than those uh, than those two movies. This arc and the next arc I'm about to talk about the um, the um, tournament of power. In my opinion, just two bland, boring, random ass tournaments. Various video games, movies, and other animes have featured way better tournaments with way better storylines and. And way better excitement. This was just another excuse to see a lot of um, a lot of terrible, a lot of um, terrible CGI um fighting, fighting, and um, um, yeah. Other than other than um, all, all only problem I had, only big problem I had with this tournament was um during the epic fight between Goku and um Hit, Goku and Hit um. Goku somehow stack Kaioken on top of Super Saiyan. How does that work? How does how does that work? They're just adding things. They're just adding things. Like I said, this arc wasn't good, but it wasn't that bad either. There were a lot of uh, good uh, moments with Hit, pretty much the Universal Survival characters. Hit Kaba, Hit and Kaba being the um, Hit Kaba and the other warriors. I can't remember their names. Pretty much being the highlight of this saga. They should have been the main characters of Dragon Ball instead of these wimpy ass Super Saiyans. Then we got the next arc. Before Tournament of Power, we have what I consider the worst arc of the official Dragon Ball Super Series. By default, Fakatsu no F and Battle of Gods are the worst arc. But this is the worst arc of the ver of the brand new episodes of Dragon Ball Super. The first newly created material for Dragon Ball Super and that was the Goku Black Saga. The Goku Black Saga. My God, was this terrible. Terrible. Um, they have an evil Supreme guy, Supreme Kai guy named Zamasu. The only thing good about this was seeing Trunks. We're seeing Trunks again. And, oh, and uh, Piccolo, James Monsters from Dr Piccolo from Dragon Ball Evolution is the vo an English voice actor for um, Zamatsu is the um, only thing that was quote unquote good about the saga. Oh yeah, and Vegito was here too. Vegito was here too. This whole saga was stupid. You have Goku Black. You have Goku Black invading Trunks' world, invading Trunks' world, and 
wanting to destroy an already ravaged and destroyed and destroyed world. Then having pink Super Saiyan hair, having pink Super Saiyan hair, like I said, it was just, it was just, um, it was just terrible. And this whole saga right here was the absolute worst start. I can't even remember all the plot holes and stuff because this saga was just so damn bad bad this was the worst arc of the dragon ball super now we get to the tournament of um we get the tournament of power the first problem i have is once again bringing frieza back to life if you go back and watch the entire namek and frieza saga no way under no circumstances would ever resurrect frieza plot hole number one plot hole number two Goku going to hell to recruit Frieza. Who cares if Goku goes to hell? When he goes to hell, there's nothing there but a bunch of souls and clouds. None of the characters have bodies. That was established in Dragon Ball Z. So they contradicted, once again, their Toriyama contradicted his own story against storyline again. You don't have bodies, so who cares if Goku goes to visit Frieza in hell? He doesn't have a body to fight with. So unless King Yamba gives him a body, he has no body to fight with. And King Yamba would, ne would never reward someone like Frieza with a body. So then let's continue. Let's continue. Um. So then you got the Z Fighters. You got Frieza coming back to life. All the people you could have brought for this tournament of power team. For this tournament of power team. All the people you could have bought. The Warriors of the Dead. The Warriors of the Dead, they do exist. Goku makes reference to them. Now, Goku never, he never teamed up with PyCon to go to hell to fight Frieza and Cell. To fight Frieza and Cell. So, um, he never went to hell to fight Frieza and Cell. But in the last panel of the, um, one of the last panels of the Dragon Ball Z manga of the Cell Saga, Goku mentions the Warriors of the Dead. He doesn't mention by name, but he does mention the Warriors of the Dead as part of his reward and new life for um, saving saving the world from from helping once again save the world from Cell. So, so that whole thing that so that whole hogwash of um that whole hogwash of. So, so of Frieza being the only participant you could have chosen. You could have chosen. You could have chosen. And they did they did they surely did this because Frieza was popular. There was no real like story element of why only he had to be chosen. They surely did this because he was popular. He was the most popular character. So um yeah, then Gohan trains, Gohan Piccolo train to get his mystic power back. I'm not even excited that he got it back because he should have never lost in the beginning. Well, then in the saga, he was still weak. He was still weaker than he was when he challenged Super Boo back in the Boo saga. So he was he still he, he he was so he was still weak. He was still weak, and while he performed well in the tournament of power, he was eliminated. We have a final. We have a final battle. And Gohan, one of the main characters of Dragon Ball Z, was not one of the final participants. He was sitting there watching the finals. And the finals consisted of Goku, Frieza, and Android 17. And somehow, their tag team together, that trio was able to beat, Jir was able to beat Jiren. Was able to beat um, Jiren, who was supposed to be all-powerful. The coolest character in this arc. The coolest characters in art got beaten and eliminated. Got beaten and eliminated, and the, everyone got erased. And they used the Dragon Balls. They used the Super Dragon Balls to wish everyone back. Completely anticlimactic. Completely anticlimactic. We have a final battle, and somehow the final battle is Goku, Freeze, and Android 17 team up. And they made it try to make it sound epic. Epic. They tried to make it sound epic with the badass music playing in the background it was just cheesy corny and forced and um forced that mentioned other stupid stuff like ultra instinct goku getting beat up and somehow he taps into some mystic he tapped into some mystic form it doesn't even last long and um 
And, um, yeah, Krillin's pathetic elimination, TM Shinhan, while he did an okay showing, he was pretty much there to beat a new Yamcha. Since Yamcha is not good enough to be on this team, and I'm going to talk about Yamcha in a minute, because I had a problem with the way he was written in this show, too. But let's talk about TN, Krillin, and Piccolo. They are the new, they are the new Yamchas of the team, since the re real Yamcha isn't even good enough to be around anymore. And let's talk about Yamcha. Yamcha is wait, was waiting on an invitation for the Tournament of Power team. This is inconsistent to what Yamcha was in the original Dragon Ball Z. In the boost in the Cell Saga, Yamcha retired from fighting after after what happened with him in Android 20. Dr. Jiro, he retired from fighting. So so why in the in the um Dragon Ball Super, where he's much older, where, where, is he trying to enter a fight with soup with people who are even more powerful than Majin Buu was? Than so, and Majin Buu were. But you have him being an idiot, waiting on an invitation, being completely out of character. First off, he doesn't even look like his right character design. They have his Dragon Ball uh, character design. When he's supposed to have the short hair, my favorite was the Cell Saga design. He's supposed to have something, uh, 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 an updated version of this design, which is what he was in the Boot Saga. I hated the way he looked in the Boot Saga, but at least it was consistent with what it what, what we saw in Dragon Ball. He was an updated version of his Cell Saga look. So, wrong personality, wrong looking. There are various moments. In this series, where characters are out of where characters are just completely out of character, um, Krillin. One of the coolest things people try to praise about this show is, is show about is Krillin's PTSD. If Krillin has PTSD, why is he here? One of the biggest problems I had with Dragon Ball. If we had to get rid of the non saying the de-emphasize and get rid of the non saying characters, Krillin should have been the first. On this list, why do after what happened to him in the Freezer saga, why do they keep bringing him into battle? And he was only and he sucked in the Cell saga too. He was only in the Cell saga to set up him and Android 18. The same with Vegeta, inventing plot elements to keep characters who are no longer important to the story important and relevant to the story. Story, and that's the thing here with Krillin. He has PTSD. So why do the Z fighters? Why does Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, Piccolo, and um, Vegeta? Why do they keep bringing him to the battlefield? Why is he here? What what credibility does he have to be other than that he's a popular character and a longtime staple of Dragon Ball? This was even worse with Master Roshi. But I'll just I'll excuse Master Roshi. Oh, excuse me, Master Roshi. Then, in the, going back to Fukatsu no F, these characters were somehow more useful. These characters were some... Krillin, Krillin, uh, Krillin and uh, Master Roshi were somehow more useful than Chaozu and, of course, Yamcha, who are both stronger than Master Roshi. So, uh, more... Trash, more trash, man. What else? What else about Dragon Ball, man? What else about Dragon Ball Super? Um, oh yes. Next was how was the how was the um you had the the main the main overall main antagonist the proc of the tournament Zeno. How how he he wanted he wanted to create a universal tournament to get rid of the the get rid of the weaker universes. How was Universe Seven? How was Universe 7 allowed to contend in this tournament? If you go back and look at everything they've done, they over-relied on Dragon Balls. They had the definition and the epitome of weak, weak, of weak. So how were they allowed to compete in the Tournament of Power? They should have been destroyed from the get-go without ever having a chance to compete. So, um... So, um... There's so much, there was so much trash. There was so much, oh yeah, it's going back to more out of character moments. Piccolo, out of character. When, when Piccolo sees Gohan not training and spending time with Videl, you see Piccolo on the, um, 
Cliff, like Batman, look, staring at him all angry, all angry. When has Piccolo ever cared what Gohan does in his spare time when he's not fighting or saving the world? When? Never. Not even in the first saga, the Saiyan saga, when he met him. He only took Gohan, he only took Gohan, um, the train, because the Saiyans were a priority. He didn't care about what Gohan wanted to do with his time when he wasn't fighting. But you got Piccolo standing on the cliff here like Batman being all mad at Gohan for not fighting when he has never cared about Gohan not fighting. Once again, characters being completely out of character, being completely different from what they're supposed to be. Goku is the big example. This Goku is supposed to be the, what the real Goku is supposed to be. So Goku, we have a Goku who is illiter not only illiterate but can't count right. So a Goku who's pretty much an idiot. That's the real Goku. That's who Goku is supposed to be. Uh, oh, yeah. And, um, so, yeah, multiple, um, what you call it. And like I said, this was, this and Fikasu F, these, these were franchise killers. This made me hate Dragon Ball even more than I already did. This was even worse than Majin Buu. Because as much as, as much as I hate Majin Buu, at least everyone in that saga was in character. As much as I can't stand Majin Buu, this was worse than Majin Buu. He tried to correct some of the flaws from Majin Buu, but it's too late. That Majin Buu saga was just too te was was too damn terrible. You can't hit a reset button, which is what this series tried to do. See, uh, series um tried to do, and I'm supposed to believe that all of this took place in the seven year gap period after Goku defeated Majin Buu. Oh yes, yeah, speaking of that, Goten and Trunks. It grow instead of incorporating their badass GT looks in this series, they grow even smaller and are still and are even more annoying here than they were in um, the Boo Saga. Then you got um, Vegeta. Then you got um, Vegeta. Uh, I thought Vegeta um, um, instead of once again using his badass biker GT look, they go back to his Cell Saga Saiyan armor, even though. The armors were rendered obsolete when we got to the uh, Boo Saga. Um, what else? What else about this atrocious series, man? Um, so, um, yeah, Dragon Ball Super. You know how Dragon Ball Z for Kasunov is the worst anime ever? Dragon Ball Super is one of the worst cartoons of all time and it is just like dragon ball z it is the worst anime of all time if i were to make a worst anime list dragon ball will be on there four times will be on there four to five times terrible this was fr this was a franchise killer i gave up on dragon ball up until brawl up until the the super brawly movie which i actually enjoyed Brawly brought me back. If there's more material featuring Brawly, I'm gonna be um, watching watching it. But if it's more Frieza, Goku and Vegeta epics, and more Zamatsu, more of these losers, I ain't watching. I ain't watch. I ain't um, watching. Then Jiren, the only cool character, got defeated in such a stupid and bitch way, like most of the villains in Dragon Ball do. He's supposed to be all powerful and somehow a tag team of Goku Freeze on Android 17 kills him. The Android 17 one. Android 17, I'm gonna leave him alone. Now let's let's rant on him. I like Android 17, but I gotta tear him apart too. Somehow Android 17 got strong enough, got it almost as strong as Goku from just part training alone. But to tell you the truth, Android 17, no matter what saga he's been in, has always been stupid. Power level wise, has always been stupid. And GT somehow mixing two Android 17s together creates a being that was somehow more powerful than Majin Buu. Even though in the dub they said he was about as powerful as Perfect Cell, which means Gohan shouldn't be able to beat him. In Dragon Ball Z, somehow incorporating Android 17, an ordinary human, him and Android 18, ordinary humans with cybernetics, with cybernetics make you stronger than superpower aliens, which is what the first two sagas dealt to, dealt to pass. And even if you can get their moves and stronger parts, which people who try to defend that saga say they use stronger parts, um, 
um, um, stronger parts. Even with that, you still couldn't. You still should not be able to compete with the Z fighters because you don't have their training. You don't have the gravity and God training that they have. Yes, Kami and King Kai are not Super Saiyan gods, but they are gods nonetheless. So it's just nothing Earth made should be on the level with them unless there's some kind of mutant or something. So, uh, yeah, that's trash, too. I'll, and I always excuse Andrew 17 because he's one of the only other characters I like in Dragon Ball. I always excused, hit, uh, excused and accepted his BS because he was one of the characters I like. But like I said, not even the characters I like. Everyone gets, everyone gets bashed in this, um, everyone gets bashed in this series, man. So, um, yeah, Dragon Ball Super, worst cartoon, worst anime, one of the worst cartoons of all time. And the worst anime of all time. You know the sad part? Dragon Ball Super actually would have been good if it wasn't a continuation of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. If it was like Dragon Ball Evolution or GT being its own adaptation. Its own adaptation using the characters from Dragon Ball with permission from Toriyama, the creators, to create your own Dragon Ball series separate from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, but since you're trying to be a sequel to Dragon Ball, you are the worst anime of all time. The production values are much better here. Animation, the animation looks like um, the arcade games of the 90s and early 2000s. It's arcade fighting games of the early, of the of the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, the artwork is slightly better with the characters Jiren, Hit, and Kaba looking the coolest. You had cool characters like Jared Hit and Kaba who were able to make this atrocious saga tolerable. Tolerable. You brought back T and Shinhai. You brought back T and Shinhai. Even though this opens up so many other plot holes, so that 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 characters like T and them can obtain the powers, power levels, increase power levels, and even spar, and even have a sparring match with Go Gohan and Goku and survive survive yeah even that even though that opens up so many uh plot holes but uh yeah speaking of plot holes oh yes going back to the zamasu saga trunks be, we learned that Bobbity and deborah tried to resurrect majin Buu in that world too and uh supreme kai so supreme kai with trunks alone managed to finish off Bobbity and deborah Preventing the release of Majin Buu in that world, yet, yet in the main timeline, Supreme Kai with a full lift Z Fighter team still could stop and prevent Majin Buu. That makes the Majin Buu saga look even worse now, and makes the characters look even worse. Who likes, who supports, and who relates to these lame ass characters, man? Why would I give a damn about any of these characters? I enjoy the supporting and supporting and antagonist characters more like Jiren Hit and Kaba. And of course Brawly from Super Brawly more than I enjoy the main characters of um Dragon Ball. Like I said, this was a franchise killer. Brawly brought me back and the Brawly movie was only good because Brawly was in the film. If it was another Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, and Frieza epic, it would have been absolute trash. When I was Dragon Ball Super, worst one of the worst cartoons and the worst anime of all time, man. Of all time. I, I hate this. I hate this. The Fakatsu no F was bad enough that this was worse. This did some things better, but this was just as bad as that was. If you don't want to hear the rest of this video, the rest of the music in this video, turn the video off right now. <laughs> Thank you. 